and welcome back to another video. First of all, we have been back from Florida for a week now. I just want to say thank you so much for everybody that is supporting our travel day vlog that I'm filming this when this travel day vlog has just gone up and Honestly, thank you so much. I'm really glad that you're enjoying them. If you haven't watched any of my Disney vlogs already, which they should all be up now by the time this video goes up. So I will link them in the description box below. We went to Florida for seven nights in January and honestly, it's just been the best trip ever. I really, really enjoyed it. It was just so magical. We vlogged the whole trip. So yeah, and I'm so glad that your feedback so far has been honestly amazing. So thank you so much. I'm so happy that you enjoyed them so i thought i'd do a little disney haul so some is going to be shop disney the outlets when we went out and just like a little bit of a random mix of other stuff that we've done so i thought i would just do a little haul today i don't want to make it long so without further ado let's get into this video the first thing i want to show you is the disney merch so everything that i got exactly in walt disney world First one being, we'll open this thing up. So I've just checked it just to make sure that it's all been well. The cast members always wrap them perfectly as well. So you don't get any breakages when you come home. I got this mug. I am obsessed with mugs as it is. The fact that it's a clear mug, I've been like randomly obsessed with clear mugs recently, but I've never had one with the disney on them so i really hope i think the cast member did say that i can put hot things in this one um i just obviously can't use it in the microwave because of the gold and stuff like that um and the dishwasher because of the decals but i'm obsessed it has the castle on if you can see and it has mickey mouse here um and then walt disney world here i'm just i love it i got it for 19.99 dollars then um just some random things to pick up here in front of me i got this now this is just the regular disney bag that you can actually get but they always do seem to change them like for the 50th it was like the 50th thing so i don't know why but i seem to collect them and put my apps in it and stuff <laughs> It's like a little collection bag that I have full of Disney merch, but I, I just love it. It has Disneyland there, Walt Disney World there. I can't remember how much I paid for it. It wasn't a lot, but reusable bag. Who doesn't love a reusable bag? Next is this, which if you watch my vlogs, you would have seen these in my vlogs a lot. Scott just loves the coffee there. I love the hot chocolate there. It's, it's a must. I love the fact that they've got the skyliner on. This has probably to date been my favourite picture that they've like put on it. Like I'm just obsessed with everything that's on this. Like it's probably been my favourite mug so far. So next thing is these. <gasps> I am so happy that I ended up getting these. So look at how cute he looks. I'm obsessed with the bow. Obsessed with the bow can't remember how much exactly i paid for these spoiler alert i actually didn't end up wearing these in disney world because i ended up putting them in a bag and ended up forgetting about them so every time i went to like star wars galaxy's edge hollywood studios all that lot and i really wanted to wear them i ended up not wearing them so i said to scott that just shows that we need another trip you know what i mean i need to wear these so yeah look at that that's my excuse for another trip next um is a whole lot of stuff <laughs> speaking about maps when i put my maps in my bag i have got so many maps so many different things um but they are not all for me i have a lot of besties that ask for maps bringing home just to get sent to them so I bring a lot of maps home for them just to send out because a lot collect them. I also do collect them as well. I think they're just so cute. I love looking back at like what was on at the time and stuff. And I love the fact like all the maps, they like always change. So this one's like Festival of the Arts Figment. And then of course I always collect these little passports from Epcot. I've got Flower and Garden and lots of Festival of the Arts and stuff. One time I do want food and wine. Let's just let's just like state that one. I'm missing food and wine, so I need that one. And then also we did a little picture at the boardwalk. That's me and Scott just being cute. What can I say? 
if you don't know where these are this is exactly at the boardwalk it's right near the margarita place literally right next to the boardwalk you just walk on the boardwalk you'll see it straight away the photo booth let me just tell you though do not go in on a hot day because then photo booths get hot and you're in there like when she's going five four three two one and then snaps a photo she takes literally all these photos you're in there for a good five minutes we went at night time so it wasn't too bad but yeah if you're looking for it it's on the boardwalk so just sentimental i have travel books and stuff that i after a trip i like print out loads of pictures and like put them in the books and this is going in the photo book we did do one of these in disneyland paris years ago and i still got it to this day and i look at it in the photo book and i'm like look how young we looked so mm, i love that um next is this which i paid exactly 20 dollars for look at the design this one's so cute it's got all the princesses on i always have to look because sometimes they miss out pocahontas um rapunzel and tiana but they have them in they have them literally all the princesses which is really cute but this is a press penny book i am a sucker for a press penny i already have two other press penny books but this time round, I had a load of pressed pennies that I brought back from my last trip, but I didn't have a book because at the time they was low on them or something. So I finally got a new one. I'm so happy to put my pressed pennies in. If you go on the My Disney app, you will literally see a drop down bar and it says like pressed penny machines and it'll literally show you where all the pressed penny machines are in like all of Walt Disney World. Good tip that, good tip. So I need to collect more pressed pennies now to fill my book in but also put the remaining press pennies in. So that's a, a job that I have to do. Going on to pins. So I have got this pin from the Festival of the Arts. I absolutely love the fact that it says 2024 on. And of course it's got figment on. This was 17 99 This is a special pin because obviously it's limited edition. You can't get it. All right, so I've just been rambling and my it, it literally stopped filming. I don't know when. So I'm going to go really quick through this. But yeah, through the Festival of the Arts, you can't get this any other time. And it has 2024 runs. Then next is this pin. Look at that. I'm not too sure what the price is because it says silver on the back. I have pins now that say silver, pink and yellow, but I don't know the price. But look at this pin. Literally, if I was a pin, if I was going to dress up as Minnie Mouse, this would literally be the Minnie Mouse that I'd be dressing up as. She's living her best life. She has lavender on, she's in her lavender dress. It's given me summer, living my best life. Everything's like peaceful and beautiful. She, she's, she's just the best. So I am obsessed. This is me as Minnie Mouse, 100%. I'm obsessed. Um, and then the next pin, which is very sentimental to me, and I just love it, is this pin. Now, when I've just been looking at it, I can see Walt's face here. How magical is that? So it says it was all started with, and then the pin opens. It still blows me away every time I open this pin. And it has all the Mickey Mouse is on from over the years. And then it has Walt and Mickey Mouse with Walt's signature and he's walking down Main Street. Now he's walking down his Main Street, his original Disneyland California that he built. I need to go there one day. Me and Scott are actually planning a trip to California, but we definitely have California on the cards. So yeah, definitely need to visit. I do get a lot of besties like saying like, are you coming to California? When are you coming to California? Which I think is so lovely. Um, but yeah, we're definitely gonna make our way to California because obviously it's the original park, the original one that Walt Disney actually built. He was actually, he actually walked down Main Street. He was there, so I, we just need to go. Um, and then the last pin that I ended up getting was this one. Now this one's not for me. This one's a special one for my bestie shout out to ellen s adventures if you don't watch then you need to she recently come back from her trip she actually has they have disney vlogs up you need to watch them they're the best 100 percent. they are just the best um but they recently come back from the trip and lucy actually forgot to get one of these pins so she's asked me and i was panicking at first because i was like i have never seen this pin i do not like i went round to everywhere magic kingdom hollywood studios 
any everywhere went like every single store and then she was like it's probably gonna be at epcot so i was like yeah that makes sense went to epcot if you ever need a pin 100% go to epcot in the actual pin place you need to go because this is where i got like all the rest of my pins from it, it just has every single pin to be fair and it was this one so this one is the walt disney statue he is so cute i'm actually quite gel that i didn't get one for myself now but oh, how magical is that i love that and i love the fact that they put a statue up in epcot for him then moving on to food now this is just a quick one i have a lot of besties that actually haven't been for a while or won't be going for a while and stuff and i obviously want to be the savior for the rice krispie treats because who doesn't love a rice krispie treat i'm like obsessed with them so i think these were like 15 dollars but so worth it um and then also more treats for besties i'm obsessed with rice krispie treats if you haven't noticed as well now they do some rice krispie treats in the resorts and honestly i don't mind the resorts ones you just can't go wrong with the ones like these the resort ones you definitely have to eat straight away whether these ones like they're full of like sugary goodness and they're just i love the icing on them as well epcot has been my new favorite park on this trip especially i just love epcot so much so we ended up getting this from the japan pavilion now i can actually smell these these are strawberry kit kats one day we will go to japan i always every single year i'm like we're gonna go somewhere different this year i want to do something different but honestly i'm so sorry like disney just have a choke hold on me like i could be traveling and doing other things but we just end up spending all our money back in disney but one time one day we definitely will travel and go different places i definitely want to go to japan i'd also like to of course like go to different disney's we've only been to disneyland paris and walt disney world a hundred times um so yeah definitely need to visit disneyland shanghai tokyo hong kong we need to go there still a disney place isn't it i can't get i can't get rid of disney but yeah i need to go to japan last for the food was this which is a french vanilla coffee this one's scots he is obsessed with the coffee he loves american coffee so much so we ended up bringing this one home we also went to target and got ourselves some french vanilla creamer which after this i am going to be doing a target haul so stay tuned for that all the good things that we got from target but yeah love that okay so i just wanted to mention this as well this is um nothing that i bought but this is something that we got left on our door and it's from the whole family honestly if you haven't guessed already i'm like literally such an emotional person i feel everything like purely like i don't even think this is normal how emotional i can get and just something like this literally made my entire year and i'm not just saying it I think it was so beautiful that they left this. I just love humans being humans. And I just think it's so magical that they probably did this before they went away. And they actually thought about people on their holiday to give some pixie dust to. And I just think it was just so beautiful at the fact that they did that. They have, we got Ariel here. So yeah, and then like a little key ring. So shout out to the whole family. I just want to say, I think it's so magical and just amazing that there is just the kindest, most purest people in this world and always be kind and always be nice because you just never know how much your kindness or just like saying one word to somebody or a little treat like this would honestly make their entire day or like me, my entire year. When I received this, I literally felt like I received a million pounds and that's how probably deep and emotional I feel but it just means the world to me so thank you so much to the whole family oh, i just think that's just so beautiful so yeah honestly never ever ever underestimate the power of a kind gesture because you just don't know who needs it and you just don't know how much it would mean to somebody so just your little reminder today that that is beautiful and there is pure and beautiful people in this world so yeah thank you so much 
So the last thing for park merch in the actual Disney parks was this bag. I am obsessed with this bag. It smells like ice cream. It literally smells like ice cream. It has the Beach Club Resort at the back and <laughs> Come on guys, you should know me by now. I am obsessed with vintage Mickey and Minnie. I'm obsessed with vintage Disney. I think that's probably why I like this one as well. She's like, just beautiful. Look at Mickey Mouse. They both look so smart. Um, it was between this bag and another bag, which I ended up doing a poll on Instagram. It was a, a very close tie, but this one did win in the end by like three or 400 more people. So yeah, if you voted, thank you so much for your participation. But this one won. Next, I'm gonna show you just a little bit from when we went out of the park. So this is at a antique store. So I have actually done a whole other video on the antique store. So first off being this popcorn bucket, this was $20. When we got there, I wanted this one already, but when we got there, they ended up introducing a green popcorn bucket. And I really liked the green one, but I was too obsessed with this one. It has like Mickey and Donald and just them in the parks, basically it has the like Haunted Mansion and Jungle Cruise and stuff. And I really wanted this one. So I was kind of disheartened to find that they was all sold out in the park. But when we went to the antique store, surprisingly they had this. So, so happy we ended up getting it. Then I got a little brooch for $4. Honestly, you need to go to this antique store. Definitely watch my video when it's up. It's either up before this or up after. We had such a good day there. And then I also got this, which is a Splash Mountain pin. You can't get them anymore. So of course, definitely needed to get that. There's gonna be one time that I'm gonna be in the parks for Valentine's Day. They're just so cute. Look at these ones. I mean, yes, we went to an antique store and I ended up getting things that are not kind of antiques. But that's what I like. That's what I wanted to get. So I'm gonna speed things up. So that's everything that I got from the antique store. Now the last but not least, we are moving on to outlets. So we didn't get a lot from the outlets, but Bath and Body Works first. Now I didn't get anything special from Bath and Body Works, but I literally only got a load of hand sanitizers from Bath and Body Works. Now I think it's so cool because now we actually have Bath and Body Works in the UK. It is still special because I feel like you can get the best deals in America. Like when we was looking, there were better deals in America than they are in the UK. So I have this one, which I'm obsessed with, Turquoise Waters. Then I've got Fresh Rainfall. I'm obsessed with like really fresh ocean-fied ocean ocean smells so we've got ocean as well this one's actually scots then i've got warm vanilla sugar which just smells divine then i got champagne toast and then mahogany teak wood that was everything i got from bath and body works i keep saying to scott like it just gives me an excuse to go back <laughs> um and then we just got something from Under Armour. This was $30. Um, but yeah, that's what he got. It was between this and a black top. Now I wish I got the black top as well because it was 20, this was only $25. So I could have literally got the black top as well, but look at how cute it is. The last thing, but not the least was these new balance shoes that of course i got from the new balance shop they were i can't remember how much they were right so they was either between 90 to 130 dollars so yeah i love i love these shoes nice beige shoes now they wasn't the original ones that i wanted so for christmas my mum and dad was actually going to get me some of these shoes and still to this day the original ones i think they're like I think they're the 580 or 530 ones and they're the beige ones. They're literally like these, but they're called 580 or 530 or whatever. And they've been out of stock since Christmas. Like every single time they go in stock, they are soon, no sooner out of stock in like minutes. They just, I don't know. So hopefully I'll get my hands on them. But until then, I've just got these like casual ones. 
so yeah really like these shoes so that is everything that i got i hope you enjoyed this video and a nice little catch up with you besties it has been the most magical trip like i said we have disney vlogs that should all be up by the time this video is up so i hopefully hope that you've enjoyed them and if you haven't watched then go ahead and watch i will link them in the description box below yeah i can't wait to go back we don't have anything booked as such just yet but the plans are to go back this year at a different time of year we usually always do springtime which honestly i do feel a bit sad that i'm not going back in the springtime one it's my birthday in the spring and two it's flower and garden at epcot and right i've just had a little a little friend scratching at the door wanting to come in hi baby she's on my hair ow she's on my hair hi hello are you okay are you all right say hi besties so beautiful so beautiful <laughs> so yeah um as i was saying it is just like the best weather there as well so yeah fingers crossed that we definitely go back at that time because we're gonna miss it but yeah some a different time of year we're going to be going this year fingers crossed all being well all gets booked so yeah i hope you've enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and i will see you on the next one lots and lots of love besties bye